Welcome to Cavaletto Studios. I'm Chris. Yoga for Confidence will do just that. It's a great day to let go of that self-doubt and build confidence. If you're feeling down and unsure, just showing up is the first step. Bringing mindfulness into your life through this practice will help focus on the present moment, ridding yourself of lingering thoughts not serving you. Find what you are capable of with this mind-body challenge. So let's get started. We will begin in a seated posture, Sukhasana, easy seat. You can sit with either leg in front, crossed, and we're going to bring our hands to the thighs, palms down, pull the elbows towards the rib cage, and pull the chin into alignment so our ears are over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Just close your eyes if you're comfortable to do so, and let's focus on our breath, breathing in and out through the nose. And just noticing what's going on in our bodies, checking in with any of the mind chatter. As we prepare for our practice today, energizing the body, letting go of anything not serving us, just exhale any tension, any doubts. Breathe in confidence and let go and exhale self-doubt. Continue that pattern as you breathe in, think confidence. As you exhale, self-doubt. One more breath. And then we're going to slowly let your chin draw towards your chest. We're going to do a few head neck rolls. Just go where you feel comfortable, rolling the right ear to the right shoulder, and then the chin back to chest, and then left ear to left shoulder, and chin back to chest. Option here is to stay across the front, or you can roll back to the right ear to right shoulder, all the way backwards, full head roll, back to chin to chest, and then change direction, all the way around, and one more time, both directions. Last one. Meeting with chin to chest, lengthening through the spine, feeling the stretch through the back of the neck. And then inhale, turn your head up to the sky, look up, open the eyes, and then exhale, chin back in alignment, eyes open. And then from here, pull the shoulders down and back away from the ears, draw the right ear to the right shoulder. Option to reach the left arm out to the side. And then bring your right hand, just the fingertips, barely touching the head. A little extra stretch here, letting go of any tension in the neck. Reach the left arm a little further out, as long as that doesn't cause pain. Wiggle the fingers of the left hand. Breathing in and out through the nose. And then slowly let your left hand go to the floor. Release the right hand. Head goes back to neutral. Realign that spine. And then draw your left ear to the left shoulder. Reach your right arm out to the side. Left hand just touching the head. Slightly bending, feeling the stretch to that right side of the neck. Reach the right arm a little further. Wiggle those fingers. Finding your breath again. You might feel it in the neck. You might even feel it in the bicep or the arm. And then bring the hand to the floor. Release the head back to neutral. Hands next to your body, chin to chest. 
and then lift your head back to neutral and then look to your right back through center and look to the left and then back to center shoulders come up to the ears and then all the way back down walk the right hand out to the right side fingertips on the floor start to lean sideways to your right palm goes down bend the elbow left arm up and reach it over just feel that nice stretch lengthening through the left side of the body finding your breath and then on your next inhale just windmill that left arm all the way down to the floor walking it out planting the hand elbow bent right arm flows gently over the head to the left find your breath and then on your next inhale rise up both arms come up reach to the sky touch the fingertips palms together exhale palms to heart space spread out those fingers and then rotate those fingers towards the floor and then back up so we're stretching through those wrists rotate down and up and one more time and then back up and gently press your left palm into the right twist to the right slowly transitioning through the center and then go to the other side pressing and then back through the center both arms press the walls away to the side and then turn those palms up thumbs to the back open up that chest take a deep breath in raise those arms overhead and then exhale palms to heart space we're going to transition here to child's pose. So you're going to bring your hands in front and you're gonna lean forward and then come up onto the hands and knees. Hands under shoulders and knees under hips facing the front of your mat. Pushing into the tops of the feet, cat cow, round through your back. Nice exhale here. And then inhale, lift the head and the tailbone exhaling and rounding inhale lift and open exhaling rounding inhale lift and open and exhale round last one and then finding your neutral spine open the knees slide the hips back to heels. Now we're going in actually into our child's pose. I gave you a little quick cat cow first, melting into it, belly between the thighs, reaching forward. Use your palms to push your heels and hips, hips back to heels. Find your breath. We're going to lift our head, walk the hands a little closer towards the body, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Now you're going to take your right hand and reach it up to the right side and then add a little twist looking up towards your right hand. Then you're going to take that right palm, turn it upward as it slides under your left arm, lowering your shoulder to the floor and then walk your left, left arm forward to the front of your mat. Wiggle those right fingers, get a nice shoulder stretch here. You're also stretching through the left armpit. And then slowly draw that left hand close to the head so you have support to come back up. Place your right palm on the floor, lift your left arm up to the sky, rotate, looking up at that left hand, and then thread it under, going into your left shoulder, walk the right arm to the front of the mat, wiggle those fingers, finding your breath. And then draw that right hand close to the head. Come all the way back up. 
walk the hands out in front of you and then transition here back to our tabletop. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and then extend the right arm to the front, thumb is up, left leg to the back, extended tabletop. Finding your breath, pull your left shoulder away from the ear. Stay nice and strong. And then bring the right hand to the floor, left knee to the floor. Transitioning, reaching the left arm, right leg, extend. Finding your breath. Feel that core working. And then bringing the hand to the floor, knees to the floor. Spread out your fingertips and lift your palms off the floor. So just your fingertips are on the floor. And then just do a gentle press release into the fingers. We're stretching them out. Then you're going to draw the hands closer to the body and now go all the way into the palms and then rock side to side. Maybe lifting a thumb and then a pinky finger. Stretching again, stretching out those wrists. Now you're going to flip your palms upward and the fingers towards the body, backs of the hands on the floor, and then rotate through those elbows. Maybe wiggle the fingers a little. Now we're going to keep these, the fingers are still going to face the body, but you're going to turn the palms down so the thumbs are on the outside, facing the outside of the mat, and then just do a gentle bend, straighten with those elbows. Again, warming things up. And then one last time, flip the palm up, fingers facing the body, and then wiggle those elbows. Now you're going to turn your fingertips to the outside of the mat, palms down, and then just spread the fingers as you rock side to side. So again, getting confidence in ourselves and our strength, our mobility of the hands to hold us up. And then we walk the hands forward, out in front of us, palms down. You're going to shift your hips forward so you slide above your wrists. Open it up for a modified plank. And then slide your hips back towards your heels. And then forward again, opening up a little more, going, working our way towards up dog. And then one more time, sliding it back. And then forward, up dog. Now option to stay on the knees, engage the cord, lift the hips slightly, or you can tuck your toes into a full plank. So you have two options here, because we're gonna move into chaturanga. So you wanna rock forward on those tippy toes, elbows bend as you slowly exhale towards the floor, and then come to your belly, and then untuck the toes, and you're gonna slowly lift yourself up to a modified cobra, or you can come to a full up dog. Now from here, we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to move to a downward dog, shifting our hips up, pedal your feet, walk your dog, shift those hips, spread out those fingers, because I want you to melt into your down dog, bend the knees, good, and then from here, rise up on the toes and then back into the heels, and then you're going to bend the knees and then walk your feet forward towards your hands, finding a forward fold. And then we're going to hold on to the elbows in a gentle shift side to side. And then place the hands on the shins, lengthen flat back. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Slight back bend. Exhale, palms to heart space. Good. And then just find your nice tall mountain. Open up the palms. Check out your toes, make sure they're facing the front, and only one to two fist distance between those feet. Good, opening it up, and inhale both arms up to the sky, and then exhale the shoulders into place. And then side bend to your right. Feel that lengthening up the left side of the body, holding that posture pushing the arches of your feet into the floor, and then inhale, rise, and then exhale to the other side. Leaning your upper body to the left as your hips push right. Again, finding your breath. And then inhale, lift, and then exhale, forward fold, swan dive, 
all the way down to the floor. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, slight back bend. Exhale, palms to heart space. Then finding your mountain again, relax those shoulders. We're going to take the left foot back and go to warrior one. So right foot stays in front. Draw those arms up, thumbs towards the back. Bending into that front knee for warrior one. Option to place the palms together, biceps into the ears, looking forward at the ceiling out in front of you. And then find your breath, feel your confidence. Find it, dig in deep into your heart and know you are a wonderful person. Find your breath. Appreciate your body for all that it does for you today. Now we're going to open up the arms and let them drift behind the back. Interlace those fingers and open the heart. Checking in with that heart space, opening it up. Now you're going to slowly, humble warrior, melt your heart towards your knee, lifting your arms to the sky, nose to the knee, finding your breath. One more breath here. And then slowly release the fingers to the floor. Take a step forward, find your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Good. Exhale, palms to heart space and open up those arms. Find your mountain grounding into the earth. Feel your strength, any tension, any self-doubt, just exhale it out. We're going to take the right foot back and find your warrior one. Melt that back foot into the floor, lengthening, opening up the body. Option to bring the hands together, palms together. Finding your breath, bending into that front knee. Breathing in and out. Both hips facing the front of your mat. One more breath. And then we're going to let the arms drift open to the side. Bring them behind the back. Interlacing those fingers. Pressing the palms together. Opening that heart space. Option, humble warrior. Sliding the nose to the knee. Arms up. Finding your balance too. Feeling both feet secure in the mat. And then very slowly release the fingers, bring the hands to the floor. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. All the way up, exhale, palms to heart space. Open to mountain. Now for this next part, you wa might want a block at the front of your mat. Just an option. If you want a, a nice tool to, for balance for what we're going to work our way towards. <sighs> Finding your focal point, opening up that heart, grounding into the earth. You're going to take the left foot back and we're going to go to warrior two. So you're stepping a little wider, opening those arms, lengthening through the spine. So your hips and your shoulders are facing the side of your mat. Arms are to the front and back and then turn and look over your right hand and look down and make sure you can see your big toe and that your knee is not collapsing to the left but pushing to the right. Lengthen through the spine. Find your strength. Feel your confidence. One more breath. Now flip your right palm up. Slide your left hand to the back thigh, lifting yourselves up. Reverse your warrior. Melting those hips a little closer towards the floor. One more breath. Good. Slide the, thigh, the forearm to the thigh, side angle, reaching it forward. Start to straighten out that front leg as the back arm, the um, left arm goes up to the sky. The right hand goes on the inside of the thigh. Shift your hip back. Just a different transition to triangle. 
So we lean into it. Now option one, again, you can have the block next to your foot. Some of you might not need it and just go to the floor. We're still gonna use the block later though, so don't toss it aside. Opening things up. Sometimes we can use the block and really use it to melt and open up that heart, stacking those shoulders. One more breath. Let's reverse, bring that block up where it was. Reverse your triangle, lifting up, opening the top right hand to the back, finding your breath. Now that top right hand is gonna come down towards that block. You're gonna bend into that right knee, hold on to the block, and then you maybe bring it forward, kick off the back leg, find your half moon. Lengthening, opening up the hips. You might be a little wobbly, stacking the hips. Flex your left foot, find your focal point and your breath. I'm a little wobbly on this side today. One more breath. And then you can take your top arm all the way back down. Good, bring those toes together. Squeeze those legs together. Inhale to chair. Doesn't that feel good to ground into the earth and find a stable posture? Very grounding. Find the strength in those legs. Bring the heart the palms to heart space, and then forward fold, release the fingertips to the earth, realign, bringing that block back to the front of the mat, and then inhale, rise all the way up, palms to heart space. Find your mountain, heel to your feet, one to two fist distance apart, and feel the feet grounding into the earth, find your strength. Notice what's going on in the body. Maybe your heart is pounding. Maybe you're just breathing a little bit more. Maybe you feel one side of the body different than the other. Just observe. One more breath. Now from here, we're gonna step back with our right foot going into warrior two on the other side. Lengthening, so both hips, side of the mat, shoulders, side of the mat, arms, lengthen front and the back of the mat, looking forward over your left hand and check in with your left toe. You can see it and the knee is pushing left, not right. Finding your breath. Now you're gonna flip your left palm up, right palm goes to the thigh, lifting, reversing your warrior. You're breathing in and out, maybe going to that ujjayi breath that ocean sounding breath. Bring that left arm to the, to the thigh, right arm to the sky or overhead to the front. One more breath. And we're gonna do our different transition. Going into triangle, lengthen, reach the right arm to the sky, straighten the front leg, shift your hips to the back as you melt into triangle, stacking those shoulders. Again, option, use that block if needed. You can hold on to the block and then really pull that top shoulder back. Lengthening. Just helps us melt deeper into our posture without straining sometime with the block. Now slowly reverse your triangle, lifting the arms right hand to the Back of the thigh, left arm up, hips shifting just slightly forward. Now that top arm, we're gonna bend that front knee, reach that top arm for the block. Maybe you move it out of the way, step back, step off of your back leg. Good, working your way to your half moon. And one side might be easier than the other, flexing your right foot stacking your shoulders, stacking your hips. Feel free to do this one on a wall. It's really nice on a wall because you can melt, really get some good balance and stretch in that one. Open the fingers nice and wide and then slowly bring 
both hands to the floor, bring your feet together, toes together, knees together. Lay the block in front of you, inhale, chair pose. Nice and strong. Feel both feet grounding into the earth. Bring the palms together at heart space. Option to rock onto the balls of the feet. Rock back onto the heels, bring the arms behind, reach the arms, find your breath. Inhale, rise. Slight back bend, and then exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Bend those knees, step back to plank. Nice and strong, holding on to that plank. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then slowly lower to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Spreading out those fingers, tucking the chin. Let's do a lion's breath. Take a deep breath in. Tongue comes out. Here we just let go of any extra tension. Melt those shoulders down towards your hips. Another lion's breath. Inhale. Tongue comes out. Exhale through the mouth. Just a great way to let go of any tension, self-doubt. We're going to slowly melt the left heel to the floor. Right leg comes up. Three-legged dog. Bend that right knee when it comes up. Stack those hips, open them up, keep the shoulders level. Now I want you to shift yourself to a plank. Pull your right knee to your right elbow, holding it there. Extend it back up, three-legged dog, and then bend the knee. Pull it to your left elbow, right knee to left elbow. Good, extend it back up. This time the right knee is coming to the right wrist to pigeon. Right ankle to left wrist. Slide your left arm back, melting into your right hip. Just shift your sides, your hip side to side. If you need the block, you can always sit on the block on your right hip. If it's a ways from the floor, you can also bring the block in front and just let your forehead melt on the block and reach those fingers forward. Or maybe you bring your head to the floor and just melt your hips, level them out. That's an option. Relax those shoulders. One more breath here. And then we'll slide our elbows close to the body, palms down. Start to lift yourself up, gently extending through the front of the body, maybe coming to the fingertips and just notice the heart is opening, that left hip is opening, finding your breath. Feel the top of your left knee and your left foot on the floor, maybe gently pressing them into the floor so you can feel the expansion through that rib cage. Walk the hands even a little closer, lengthen a little more, going to the fingertips. One more breath. And then we're slowly going to release any tension that you're pressing into the hands, melt them to the floor. Tuck your left toe under and start to transition yourself back to a plank. Good. Nice and tall. Good. And then just bend the left knee, pull it towards the left elbow, release, and then do the right one to right elbow, and then left knee to left elbow one more time, and then the right side. Nice and tall. Feel free to be on your knees if you want a modified plank. Rock on the toes, chaturanga. Elbows in, lowering down, exhaling. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Spread out those fingers. 
Think about really pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. You never want tension in the shoulders. Press in the fingertips and the palms. Maybe rise up onto the toes, back towards the heels. We want to soften or bend the knees so we don't go into that low back. Now you're going to melt into the right foot onto the floor. Lift your left leg up to a three-legged dog. You're going to bend the knees, stack the hips, keep the shoulders level. And just notice the changes and what is areas you feel this in. Now you're going to bring your left knee to the left elbow, hovering in that plank and holding it here. And then we're going to send it up to three-legged dog. And then pull the left knee to the right elbow. And then send it back up. And now left knee to left hand coming to pigeon and then sliding all the way back onto the right knee, the right top of the hip or top of the foot, melting into that left hip. And again, if you need a block under the hip, you can use that melting yourself forward, head to the block or to the floor, hands out in front. And just find your breath here. Sometimes if we have, we have tension in the hips. As you inhale, inhale confidence. Exhale. Anything not serving you, any self-doubt, just let it go. If you feel tight in the hips or emotional here, just exhale that out. Really tune into your ujjayi breathing, inhaling through the nose, contract the throat and exhale through the nose. It sounds like an ocean. One more breath. And then we'll be lifting our head, walking the hands closer to the body, slowly expanding Expanding through that heart space, feeling the stretch, maybe now through the right hip flexor, option to go to the fingertips, lengthening a little more, but still pushing into the top of the foot on that right foot. Finding your breath. From here, you're going to plant your hands, tuck your right toe under, start to shift yourself back to a plank. And in that plank, pull the right knee to the right elbow, release it, left knee to left elbow, and release one more time each side. Feeling that core working, and then back to plank. Holding it here nice and strong. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then go ahead and lower the knees. Take them apart, feet together. Let's find our child's pose. Stretch out that low back. Melting into the floor. Reach the fingertips forward. Maybe go to fingers like tense. Stretching through the armpits and the shoulders. And then maybe bring the palms down to the floor. Palms now turn and face together. Interlace the fingers. And then maybe bend the elbows. Reach the palms. Fingers interlace back into towards your neck. Find your breath. You can open your palms and see if you can press them toward your neck, but don't press on your neck. Feel the stretch in the triceps, the back of the arms. And then release those fingers all the way back to the floor. Lifting your head, coming up nice and slow, and then cross the legs or bring them to the side. 
have a seat and extend the legs out in front of you for Dandasana. And just give them a little shake, shake, flexing those toes. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, reaching for those toes, keeping the spine nice and long, but you're looking forward over the toes. And you can hold on to the big toes or hands over or the sides. Now you want to stay long through the spine and then start to draw the chin towards the chest just slightly. It's going to change how you feel things. Some of you might be able to go lower. I'm still, I still, my back doesn't let me go forward as much as I used to, but that's okay. I still breathe in that confidence, let go of any of that self-doubt. I'm just, we all do the best we can with the tools that we have. Relax your shoulders. Keep on breathing in. You might feel if your spine long, more stretch in the ankle or the uh, calf or the hamstring. One more breath. And then we're going to rise all the way up. Reach those arms overhead. Press the palms together. Bring them to heart space. Lengthening the shoulders. Press those palms. Open the fingers. Nice and wide. Using the core, I want you to lift the left knee, pull it in towards the chest and the foot off the floor. So your hip flexor is working as well. Good. Take those hands together, slide them under the shin as you pull that leg in towards the chest. Good. And then you can open up the palms, have them face your body. One option here, fingertips nice and wide. Another option, you can go deeper. Some of you might be able to place the foot in the elbow and then the knee in the opposite elbow, interlacing the fingers, flexing that right foot. Cradle the baby. Now another option is to shift your body side to side if you want. Or the leg, the leg area. And maybe lift that foot up and down. And then just sit as tall as you can, feeling that glute stretching, that hip. And again, your hands can be underneath the calf if that feels better for you. Now very slowly, we're going to release the leg, place that left foot across the right thigh. And we're going to wrap our right arm around that left thigh, left arm behind us, give it a nice twist. Now option to lean to your right, bending your right knee and bringing that right heel to the left glute. A little deeper stretch. If you come this way and your foot is up off the floor, then keep that right leg straight. And just give it a nice stretch. Feeling that stretch through the left hip and glute. See if you can look behind you to the left a little further. Finding your breath. Now we're going to slowly release, letting go, unwind the legs, straighten them out, extend them, sitting up nice and tall. From here, inhale the arms all the way up, and then exhale, push the walls away. Flip the palms up thumbs towards the back. Lengthen, lengthen. Press the palms together. Lift the elbows, but lower the shoulders and open up those fingertips nice and wide. Lift the right heel off the floor as you pull the knee in, finding your breath, noticing the core, this whole area working to lift that leg, and then slide the hands under the calf and you're just going to rock it side to side. Now option, maybe you can put your foot in one of the elbows or knee can go in the opposite elbow interlacing those fingers to cradle the baby. And just a little rock side to side. So you get options. Pick the posture or the variation of this one that you would like. If the elbows don't go there or the foot doesn't go that high, just keep it here. Whatever works for you sitting up as tall as you can, lengthening, finding your breath, 
flexing that left foot. Now from here, we're gonna let go of the foot, unwind from the leg, place that right foot over the left thigh. You're gonna grab hold of that right leg with your left arm, right hand behind you as a kickstand. You're gonna to twist to the right, option to lean slightly to your left, bend your left knee and pull your left heel to your right butt cheek. And then we're gonna lengthen and twist to the right. Find that stretch that feels good for you in the glute and the hip. Maybe you turn and look a little further to the right behind you. And you're breathing. One more breath. And then you're gonna bring your head back to neutral as you unwind. And then we're gonna reach those legs out in front, give them a shake. And then we have one more, you're gonna bend your left knee, you're gonna slide your left foot into your right thigh. Flex your right leg, your right foot. Inhale, both arms up. Rotate your chest towards the right thigh as you lean forward into it. So we wanna to try to keep those right toes up to the sky. Leaning, again, lengthening through the spine so you feel those hips rotating forward. Looking forward, take your left hand on the outside edge of either your knee, shin, or foot, wherever it can work, fit or reach and then start to draw your head towards your knee. Wiggle those toes. You might feel it in the hamstring, the calf, depending on where you are tight. Maybe even in the opposite side, you might feel it in the left low back or left hip. One more breath. Then you're gonna take your left hand, release it from your Right leg, place it on the mat on the inside of the leg and walk yourself all the way up. You're gonna pull that left knee in, extend it straight, and then hug the right knee into the chest so you can let it fall open. And again, make adjustments to where that foot needs to go for your right knee. Flex your right foot, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, both arms up, chest towards the thigh, leaning into it. Feel that hip rotating forward. Maybe you can reach for your toe, maybe the knee. Take the right hand, place it on the outside, wherever it can reach. So you get a little extra stretch, maybe through the low back on the right side, maybe through that right shoulder. And then let your head fall towards the knee. And you might notice a difference from one side to the other. Finding your breath. You're inhaling, you're exhaling. You're wiggling those left toes. Then you're gonna release that right hand, place it on the floor, closer to the body. Walk yourself all the way up. And then bring the bottoms of both feet together, holding the ankles, lengthening through the spine, and then start to draw circles with the whole body. Rocking and rolling, shifting your hips from glute to glute. And then slowly change direction. And then sit up tall. Pull the elbows into the rib cage. Sit up nice and tall. And then start to hinge yourself forward. Leaning into it. Option to hold on to the toes and then start to melt your head forward. Option to reach the fingertips forward or even walk your hands forward. And then wherever you are, we're gonna glide our body up nice and tall. You're gonna hug your knees into the chest, give it a squeeze and then make adjustments so you have room behind you on the mat when we get there to roll back. But first we're gonna go into our boat pose, heels on the floor, toes up, 
Hold those thighs. Come on, let's lengthen through the spine. Engage that core. Let's find our confidence option. You can be on the floor. You can release those hands. Lots of variations here. Feet up, feet, hands released. Pull those shoulders down and back. And just breathe here. Tune into that core. Feel the shoulders just relaxing here as much as you can. The key here is to relax those shoulders. <clears throat> here, let's make some movement. Let's paddle our feet, paddle our boat. How about rowing our boat? Get some movement going. How about sailing the boat? And then today, let's go into a catamaran. I like to call it the catamaran. Hold those toes and extend those legs. Maybe you hold under the thighs or the calf. That's okay. Or a strap. And then slide those legs together. Release, extend the arms up, point those toes, straighten the legs. Start to lower yourself nice and slow all the way onto your back. Again, make adjustments so you're comfortable laying on your mat. And then from here, we're gonna bend the knees, walk the feet closer to the hips, maybe reaching your hands towards your heels or your ankles. Walk the shoulders away from the ears. And then we're gonna press through both feet, finding our bridge, lengthening through the spine. Knees are in. You're breathing. And then slowly lower those hips all the way back to the floor. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh, open up that right knee. And then we're gonna take a single leg bridge, pushing through the left leg, lifting it up and opening. See why you're up there if you can rotate your right ankle, both directions. Flex that right foot and then lower your hips all the way back down. And then reach both feet, um, sorry, both hands, not feet, hands between the legs. Hold on to your left thigh as you pull that left foot off the floor. Give it a squeeze into your chest, another glute stretch. So really releasing those hips, opening things up today. Letting things go that aren't serving us. And then bring, let go of that leg, bring the foot back to the floor. Uncross the right foot, place it back on the floor, reach the hands back by your, down by your hips. Walk the feet in towards your towards your glutes, and then place your left ankle over your right thigh. Open up the knee. We're gonna press into a single leg bridge, and then rotate that left ankle both directions. And then flex the foot, and then we're gonna lower the hips all the way back down. Your right foot comes off the floor, reach to the center, grab hold of the right thigh, and just pull the knees in towards the chest. And find your breath. Now we're gonna release that leg back to the floor, plant both feet flat. Now you're gonna walk the feet about as wide as your mat and then draw the knees together. And just notice again what's going on in the hips. And then release the knees apart. Walk the feet close together. Bring your arms to cactus arms. So the back of your hands are on the floor, elbows bent, and then drop both knees to your right. So they're just slightly staggered. Turn your head to the left. Just enjoy that nice twist. Feels so good. Now you're gonna turn your head back to center. We're gonna do something a little different here. Bring your feet back to neutral. Take your feet apart, about close to the hip, um, as wide as your mat. Drop both knees again to your right and turn your head to the left. So you're gonna feel a little more of a stretch in that left hip flexor. Option to take your right foot on top of the left thigh. So just a little more hip opening here, 
You might feel up through the rib cage on that left side. Find your breath. We're still breathing in that confidence and letting go of any self-doubt. Your foot, if it's on top of the thigh, take it off. Bring both knees and head to neutral. Walk the feet back all the way together and drop both knees to your left and turn your head to the right. So again, feet are just slightly staggered here. Pretty, they're close to being stacked, but not quite. You can have them stacked if you like. And just notice the side. One side might be easier to turn to than the other. We're going to bring our head to neutral, bring both legs back to neutral, and now take both legs as wide as the mat. You're going to drop both knees to your left, turn to the right. Option here, notice what's going on in that right hip. Maybe you take your left foot over your right thigh. It's optional. Finding your breath here. One more breath. Now, if your foot is crossed over the thigh, you're going to take it off. Bring your head to neutral as the knees come back to neutral. Go ahead and hug the knees into the chest. Give it a rock side to side, massaging out that low back. Then hands behind the thighs and then circle the knees, drawing circles on the ceiling. Another great way to massage out that low back. One more circle. And then we're going to go the other direction. So changing things up a little. Place both feet back on the floor, hip distance apart. Lifting the hips, find your bridge. Another option to walk your shoulders underneath, interlacing those fingers, pressing them towards your heels. Try not to let your knees fall open. Just feeling again that stretch. Option to let your head turn to the left. And then you can even try turning your head to the right, get a little extra stretch in the neck. And head to neutral, release the fingers, walk the shoulders out, lowering your hips, pull the knees to the chest, and then find either your big toes outside of your feet or in to out, happy baby, and a little rock side to side. And then find your center, release those feet to the floor. Let's find our Shavasana. So we can pause here and open up that chest, close your eyes. Find your breath, feel the legs falling open, shoulders away from the ears. Notice the rise and fall of your belly with each breath. Feel the rib cage shifting and changing with each inhale and exhale. Again, breathing in confidence. Letting go of self-doubt. You did it. You probably have more energy now. Confidence. Just let go of that self-doubt. You got this. Wiggle the fingers. Let's wiggle the toes. How about move the ankles? How about move the wrists? Go ahead and bend either right or left knee. Assist yourself in turning to the side. Give your knees a squeeze as you gently press yourself up to a nice, tall, easy seat. 
Feel free to sit on a block or blanket, whatever feels good to you. <sighs> Lengthening ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, pull that chin into alignment. Turn the palms up on the thighs, first finger and thumb together. Elbows back. You did a wonderful job today. You took care of you. Feel the heart, the heart space. Feel the heart beating. Feel your breath coming into your body. Close your eyes if you would like. Check in with your posture. Reach the arms all the way up, fingers touching. Exhale, palms to heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.